Uh, very often, the essential surgical uh, conditions need to meet the following criteria. Are they primarily or ex extensively treated by surgical procedures? Are there other uh, care options? Do they have a large healthcare burden? Or can they successfully be treated or eliminated using a surgical intervention? There are definitely things that, you know, that are considered surgical conditions, or like you said, that can be treated by surgical procedures like cancers or orthopedic injuries or disfigurements from burns, um, congenital defects, uh, like from cleft lip and palate, um, even like blindness from cataracts, that's all requires surgical procedures. And I think this definition of surgery as things that can be treated with a surgical operation, uh, things that have a large disease burden and, um, things that are primarily treated by surgical procedures is way too narrow. And, and I'll give you an example of, of why I think that. If I were to walk outside right now and slip and fall and hit my head, um, uh, then and I, you know, I hit my head, lose consciousness, and then brought it into the emergency room, I would be seen by a neurosurgeon, most likely. And most likely, that neurosurgeon would decide to do nothing with me, even if there's blood inside my head, uh, would just sort of wait to see what happens. Uh, and likely, nothing would happen, and I would not be treated surgically in that definition. Uh, but the only reason the neurosurgeon can do that is because she's got a fully staffed sort of surgical system behind her that she can treat me non-operatively. Now, does that mean that my, my brain bleed is considered a non-surgical disease? And I'd argue that it's not. It required the expertise of a surgeon, even if I never actually ended up in the operating room. When you say surgery, you're, it implies cutting. It implies manipulation. It implies a lot of things that uh, it's very invasive. And for most cases, you can actually you can actually treat it non-operatively. You don't need to cut and it gets better. So if, if by, by, by adhering to a strict definition, it does exclude um, this kind of condition. And, you know, and I think that it will be instead uh, more apt to, to think about surgical problems that a surgically trained provider can address that no other, no other medical providers can or is trained to, to do.